folks, and welcome. Here we are, back again. Weekly it's point been books ages, isn't it? man, what the yeah. hell? <laughs> so we're here with another book. It's issue 46 now, isn't it? It is. Like issue 46. Out. Same, <laughs> um, same, same week. Same week. 5th yeah. of uh, December. Merry Christmas. Mm. Nearly there, aren't we? Nearly, just less than three weeks. You doing a bit of carol singing this year? Always. Good man. Yep. You? No. 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 Why not? Uh, uh, Grinchy. Really? Yeah, I don't really? like it. Green Grinch jumper. No, this is brown. This is sick brown. That is green. No, this is vomit brown. That's green. It's sandy vomit brown. Dude, it's green. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> get get involved, Steffers. <laughs> what yeah, colour is Will's green. jumper? It's beautiful, that's what it is. Can't uh, but it, it plays off quite nicely against the yellow yes. of Prodigy, which is Prodigy. today's today's book. book. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, by the superstar team, <gasps> uh, Mr. Mark Millar, as we call him. Yeah. And uh, Raphael Albuquerque, who Great we know stuff. from wonderful books mm -hmm. of American Vampire. Yep. And this team together did... Uh, Huck? Huck. Yes, I nearly yeah. said a different word. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <Huck>. um, <laughs> we should, we should um, there. So, so this one is the second book since Miller's kind of um, joined forces with Netflix. So right there on. could well be a uh, something along the way there. Subtle advert on the back. It says you just we blink approve. and you miss it. We approve. <laughs> um, but Prodigy as yeah. a as a book. What so, did you think? Um, to give a little bit of a breakdown without yeah, giving sure. anything away, uh, the prodigy seems to be the main protagonist, who yeah. is a chap called Edison Crane. Yeah. And basically, he is super intelligent, he is super fit. Bit of an athlete. He is super rich. Daredevil. Uh, basically, can L solve... Likes a stunt, doesn't he? Solves all the world's problems in his downtime. Yeah. Uh, just for fun. Yeah. Shits and giggles. Hey, got a few minutes. Um, have you got a, a beat problems. for that? What? I dropped an S-bomb. <laughs> <Did laughs> <you? laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're a, we're a, we're it's a, about time you started talking naturally. We're a broad church. Yeah, that's okay. right. Everyone's welcome. Everyone. Mm -hmm. um, so... Yes. What did you reckon to it? You know what? <clears throat> I'm a massive fan of uh, this guy's artwork. I love everything he does, to be honest. Yep, the art um, was on And it point. is amazing looking. Uh, it is. I think it's, I think it's great looking. Um, in terms of the story, you know, it's, it kind of starts with the, when he's young, doesn't it? Uh, yep. And then sort of transitions into when he's older. It shows how um, he annoys everybody when he's yeah, young because yeah, yeah. he's so far ahead of everyone, even the older Does some guys. Does freakishly and... things. I like the Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan thing. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I think it's, it's you have to see where it's going because he's not a particularly likeable protagonist. That is what, that's exactly what I was yeah. going to say. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to like someone so flawless. Yeah. And... Well, he's just slightly arrogant as well. You know, just not very really likable. Well, and also, he, it, it's kind of the Superman thing, isn't it? Yeah. Where they had to bring in Kryptonite to yeah. make him more relatable. Right, where with this, he just seems like he, he's perfect. Yeah. And we, we need some well, kind there's clear of flaws, human flaws. flaws. Mm, I'd say uh, that they're fairly self-evident. Would you really? Because yeah, he's I think just so. Because he I, doesn't seem like a nice person, particularly. Well, he doesn't seem like an, a non-nice person. He's, he's like cutting a kid open, like right at the start, isn't he? Yeah, but that was to save him. That was it? Yeah. yeah all right. I just sort of, I thought that was quite horrific. He saved that kid's life. Oh, well, I take it all back. He's a lovely guy. Wow. <laughs> what a lovely guy. <laughs> no, I just... And all I just you doctors you... and nurses out there, you scumbags. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> cutting people open. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> are you doing that for fun? <laughs> no, I just thought he didn't seem particularly likeable, you know. Maybe it's just my... You know, my take on the, uh, I, maybe I just uh, sort of tend to gravitate away from the, um, you know, super awesome. But he was, he, you know, just didn't seem particularly likeable. And I think that this, this is the one where they brought a sort of um, uh, a lady agent in. Yes. Yeah. So I think she will probably be the sort of the, the down to earth, you know, access point for, for people. Um, yeah. And, and this, you know, the, the they've got relatable uh, character. The, the girl that brings in the puzzle that he can't. Yeah, solve, yeah, or at yeah. least it, it challenges him to solve because everything right. else is like done in a day. He Easy learns peasy. how to kick ass and he Frickin learns how to. Freaking squeezy, isn't it? Most so, yeah, I do. Be interesting I'm to see a, where it goes. I'm a big fan of Mark Miller. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm, I'm sure a he's aware of. Big that. fan of Raphael Albuquerque. 
Not that you're a fan. I'm sure he's aware of how he's, you know, the character is going to be received. Do you not think he's aware that I'm a fan? Uh, no, I don't think he's aware of your existence, to be fair. Really? <laughs> no, maybe. Maybe. What, the, the frog hood has got, a... Got a restraining order on me. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Did meet him once, though. Did you? Yes, yeah, he's Comic-Con. Say, oh, he, he hello, won't Mr. remember. Miller. Uh, I think I tried to, but then he got taken away by somebody else. And I was there. Yeah, what security? <laughs> <laughs> Get away from the weirdo. <laughs> He's got a Mac. Get away from him. <laughs> Wearing a raincoat. Oh, well, that's a joke. I thought, a joke. I thought I it was like PC. No, no, no. no. Nothing to do with that. Uh, I want to see where it goes. Yeah, but me too. my one little bugbear is it just seems somehow a little bit bland. Which with these two, writing wise, or. Um, no, just the, the whole thing. Uh, just, yeah, I think it is, like you say, just the, the main protagonist. You mm. can't somehow get behind. There's something yeah, there yeah. that just, and it just seemed a little bit, because I was really excited for this book, and I have been for a while. I mean, look at And it. the first one has left me a little bit kind of mm. meh. I don't want to feel meh. I want to feel rah! Yeah. See where it goes, though, eh? Yes, absolutely. See where it goes. But the art. Oh, it's gorgeous. gorgeous. And it's definitely worth the £3.20, dollars they sold for here at Frog Ross Comics and Books. They are snappers. Come out and spend your beans, see what you think. Take care, we'll see you soon.